Cantor with a recap of Georgia Tech's beatdown loss to Boston College. Boston College 38, Georgia Tech 23. Well, another home game against the team that Georgia Tech was favored to beat and uh, another beatdown loss in the fourth quarter. Look, I'm not even angry at this one. I guess I should be, but I'm not. Um, better team won. Bottom line, uh, Boston College outplayed Georgia Tech, just beat them down, player for player, beat down. And can't get mad about that. Now, you know, I'm, I'm still a little butt sore from the refs with all the missed pass interference calls. You know, I really wish the umpire, you know, when he's screwing us over, would use some lube because uh, pretty painful. But that didn't cost us a game. Giving up 21 unanswered points in the fourth quarter to a team that just ran it down our throats, that lost the game. And a quarterback that throws three picks. It is what it is. Boston College outplayed us. They won. Um, we were missing some key players today. Singleton evidently was sick. We could have really used him today. Uh, they only let Lane play one play today. Mostly they went with the starters, uh, Leary, Malik Rutherford, and Blaylock, and kind of ran them into the ground. You could tell at the end of the mat game that they were not doing very well. They were a little gassed. We still have a great wide receiver room, and they should have had a better rotation on that one. That's all on the coaches. Bottom line, that's wasn't good coaching today, but we failed in every aspect. You know, Tantor was on Rec Talk this week with a live stream. Hope you guys catch it. You can still catch it on YouTube if you want, where we graded the Georgia Tech team at the midway point. And for those of you who haven't, uh, we had an average of 78 for the offense, 52 for the defense, and 52 for special teams. 35 for the defensive coordinator, and uh, key 75. Well, listen to all those grades. 78 is just a C. Key 75 is a, a C. Special team and defense are failing, and I can honestly say that all aspects of this team failed today. Uh, quarterback, now, Hank King was up and down all day today. Um, he had a great rushing day. He rushed for 150 yards. Um, that's a career high for him. And he had a huge long run, I think, a little over 70 yards. He was fantastic running the ball. Passing, not so much. He was only 14 for 32. He was wildly inner erratic. Threw three picks. One of them was a pick six. Routinely, the ball was thrown late. Um, wrong shoulder, high, everywhere. Everywhere but on target. Um, a couple of defenders, he hit right in the numbers. So it wasn't like the defender made a great play. It was a bad pass. And a quarterback has to give his team an opportunity to win the game. King did not do that today. I know all you fans out there that are big King supporters, I think King is the a, is a best quarterback we've had since um, Godsey. But... He did not have a good game today. He didn't have one against Bowling Green that was very good. And he didn't play very well, um, you know, earlier against um, Ole Miss. And his game against Miami, he came through at the end, but uh, the most of that game he wasn't very good. So, you know, he's up and down, 50-50 with him. And today was a down game. It wasn't very good. So he's got to get better. He's got to eliminate these turnovers. Running the ball, he was great. Passing, not so much. Um, he's got to give his team an opportunity to win, and today he did not do that. But it, it's not all his fault. I mean, special teams, you miss an extra point. That was huge. Uh, not while we lost. We lost by 15, not by one. But if we would have made it a game, we still would have lost because of that extra, missed extra point. Um, defense. You know, defense, we had a 23-17 lead there at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Boston College said, we're not going to throw the ball on you. We're going to bring in an extra guard and an extra tackle, and we're just going to run it right at you and go man versus man, and we're just going to knock you off the ball and run it down your throats. It's a gut check. It's time the best players win. We're supposed to have the best talent on that field. We didn't. 
They failed. Defense failed. Bottom line. Up through the first three quarters, I had one missed tackle. Fourth quarter, we weren't making any tackles the fourth quarter. They just ran right over us. Ran through arm tackles. Huge holes. Guys getting blocked very easily. I mean, even with um, you know new defensive coordinator, second week there, he started 44. Great. He led the team in tackles. But I... We were playing zone. That's how I would have stopped him. But we were playing zone. He let his man, which was the running back in the zone, wide open. Wasn't, wasn't doing that. And he chased him down and made a cackle there. But still, guys aren't doing their jobs. Everyone has to do their own job. Now, you know, Harvey got to start at cornerback, which he should have been starting all along this season. And he got a pick. And he played very, very well. Made tackles out there, did everything we could ask him, but he got he got busted up pretty good, and they rotated him out. And every time they rotated him out, the people in instead of him got beat. Um, Boston College ran outside at will, and it's because our defensive ends and linebackers lose contain outside. It's about doing your job, and we look at the pre-snap penalties on offense and defense. It's the attention to detail. Do your job, not someone else's, your job. Play your assignment. Play assignment football. Boston College is not full of great athletes. They have a great quarterback, Castellanos, passed for 255, rushed for 128, and basically dominated us. You know, I watched film on it, looked at it, and said, if we can contain Castellanos, we should beat this Boston College team pretty easily. They're not very good. Well, we didn't contain him, and they beat us pretty easily. So, do your job. And coaching, this was a horrible job done by offensive coordinator, position coaches on offense with rotation of players. It wasn't any good. Head coach caught using up two timeouts early in the second half. Boston College, early in the fourth quarter, were on our one-yard line. And Key calls a timeout because we only had eight or nine defensive players. It was a dumb timeout. Later on in the fourth quarter, it's fourth down. Key calls a timeout to set up a punt. Dumb. Now, again, we did our live stream on Rec Talk, and we talked about how we all favor having Key as the head coach, but this is his first year as a head coach at any level. And we're seeing it. This was not a good job done by the head coach today. Blowing his timeouts, pretty unorganized game. The kids, you know, I, I hate to say it, but they quit in the fourth quarter. And why? This is the second time. They, they quit in Boston against uh, Bowling Green. Now in the fourth quarter here with the game on the line, they couldn't get any stops. They couldn't drive the field. They couldn't do anything. And why won't they play hard for Coach Key? I don't know. Now, we know he doesn't have his own players here 100%. You know, we need to give him time to get his recruiting class in there. But if he can't get kids motivated to play hard for 60 minutes then I don't know if he's the right guy for the job. Uh, are we going to be his break-in job that he gets to make all of his mistakes and learn from? Because the learning curve has to be short. Three and nine is not acceptable at Georgia Tech. It's not. We have higher expectations than this. Right now, we're heading towards a three and nine. We can't beat anybody that we're supposed to want to beat. We're in trouble. Boston College, they lined up and said, we're going to shove it down your throat. You try to stop us. And we couldn't. That's why we lost. Bottom line, we couldn't stop them do, to do anything. Well, next week, we have UNC. Going to that game because I really want to see May play. Will we show up like we did against Miami? Play hard? Play inspired football? 
play virtually mistake free. Everybody doing their job, everybody buying in, everybody pulling on the rope. You know, those are all coach sayings that you'll hear uh, this week in practice. Or will we get the mess that we saw against Bowling Green in the fourth quarter today against Boston College? I have no idea. This team is so inconsistent. It's sad. But we are what we are. We're three and four, and we're not very good. So when Coach Key came in the, the press conference after the game and said, we need to look in the mirror and assess, I have. We're nowhere near as good as I thought we were. And some positions aren't any good at all. And we're only going to be as good as the weakest link on offense and the weakest link on defense and the weakest link in special teams and the weakest link in coaching. And right now, those weak links are really horrible. So, we play an incredibly good team next week. Are we going to get embarrassed and run off our field again? Or are we going to show some fortitude and put up a fight and make it a game? I don't know. We'll see. Tantor out.